Next we have Jack Ricabano from Voices of Guanas. Let's go, Jack. Thank you very much. Uh, my name is Jack Ricabono. I'm from the Voice of Gowanus, which is a coalition of community groups and concerned citizens that have been fighting for the Gowanus community and against Mayor de Blasio's biggest rezoning of his administration. We're talking about a rezoning proposal twice the size of Hudson Yards, okay? They want to blanket our neighborhood with 22 to 34 story luxury apartment towers. And we're saying enough is enough. And I want to say it's a beautiful thing to be here today with these communities from across the city. We were with our neighbors in fighting the Industry City project in the Sunset Park area. And we were on the steps of City Hall just a couple months ago speaking out against that project. And we need to join together and really fight as a group because that's where we're going to get community power. And I want to just say that Mayor de Blasio and our council member Brad Lander have been pushing for this development for a very long time and ignoring the health and safety issues. Now, common sense would tell you it's not a good idea to bring 20,000 new people into a FEMA flood zone A that flooded during Sandy and have them live around a EPA designated Superfund site the Gowanus Canal, which is one of the most polluted waterways in the country. Yes. And yes. Mayor de Blasio will tell you, oh, well, they've been cleaning that up for 10 years. The EPA just started dredging last month, and it's going to go on for at least another 10 years. And, 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 and our council member, Brad Lander, who's been there for 11 years, was against that designation to begin with. It took community power to get that area designated a Superfund site so that we could fight the environmental injustices in that area. Now, in our community, there are 10,000 NYCHA residents, okay? And our, our council member, Brad Lander, over the 11 years that he's been representing the area, he has delivered nothing when it comes to infrastructure for our NYCHA neighbors. And when it came to this massive luxury upzoning, he cut them out of the map. Okay, Mayor de Blasio and Councilmember Lander, they're not even in the rezone map. Two blocks away from 30-story luxury towers are our 10,000 NYCHA community members, and they deserved a seat at the table, and they didn't get one. They didn't get one. They demanded that the Department of City Planning release the environmental impact statement before certifying, and they refused to do so. They're planning to release it on January 19th, and certify it right away. What's in there? What are they trying to hide? Well, I'll tell you, they're trying to sell this entire upzoning on affordable housing complex that they want to build on one of the most toxic sites in New York City and probably New York State, a city-owned site called Public Place. Now, on this site, there used to be a manufactured gas plant. And let me tell you, that is some of the most toxic industrial waste that you can have. And it has seeped over 100 feet deep into the soil, okay? And just on December 1st, the EPA's head engineer for the, for the Gowana Superfund validated the community's concerns by saying the remediation efforts underway are not sufficient. Brad Lander and Mayor de Blasio want to put a school and an affordable housing complex on poisonous, toxic land. And if that's not social injustice, I don't know what is. So please join us in fighting this rezoning, asking hard questions, and, and exposing that this process is totally broken, and we must remake it. Thank you very much.